Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. They're releasing the numbers. Bring up this graph. Bud Light is losing it. Look, Bud Light sales plunging across the U.S. It's even plunging in the blue areas. Yeah, like California, that's the bluest place you can be. Yeah, that's 18%. Oh, in that area. Mountain yeah. is 29%. Mm -hmm. West, North, Central, 25%. Mm -hmm. 22% down in Texas, 25%. Uh, Missis in a, Mississippi and Alabama, 25%. Who didn't see that coming? Yeah, 25% in Georgia and Florida and Virginia and North Carolina. <laughs> it's even plunging up in that damn liberal shithole New up there. New England, 14%. Yeah, that's wow. the lowest. That's a, that's a, it's liberals up there. Yeah, it's Bernie. Oh, man, that looks beautiful. It needs to be worse, though. Yeah, I know. The West North Central is 25%. Mountain area is 29%. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're making a difference. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Dylan Mulvaney, he did a podcast, and um, he's chiming in now, finally. Let's check out what, what the hell he got to say. Well, let's listen to him. Like, truly, I was like, oh, God, how do I fix this? Mm -hmm. And now there are hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. that do not like me. Mm -hmm. And hundreds, I still millions. can't sleep. But mm -hmm. it, in a weird way, has been a blessing to sort of break that people-pleasing mm -hmm. mentality mm -hmm. because I can't. There's no way that I can win those people over. Right, and and right. I actually, if you'll go back to some of my earlier videos, like, I was like pleading with these people mm. that, you know, I was anything. I was like, what can I say to show them a different part of myself? What can I do? Are you crazy as hell. She said she had she hundreds, said hundreds of, of thousands of people don't like her. Man, you had millions and that's, and, it's, and that's growing every day. <laughs> people do not agree with you saying you, you're, you're a female. You're more like a lady boy, you know? Yeah. That's, that's factually accurate. You're a lady and boy, lady boy, she male. You know, yeah. people, the only people who agree with you is just far left progressive. Yeah. Your message people. is only going to resonate with progressives. Yeah. And that's, and that's going to, as time progresses, your number, your polling numbers is going to keep sinking just like Joe Biden's. <laughs> yeah. You are a, you are a damn grotesque caricature of what a woman is. I don't and think he's gross. He's a lady boy. He, he should stop I'm comparing him to, to women. You are a yeah. grotesque caricature of women, and anybody agrees with what you're doing, yeah. they're psychos. Yeah, you're a lady boy. You know, that's more accurate. You pee standing up. You're a woman at pee standing up. That's lady boy action. I mean, it's nothing actually wrong with what you're doing, I, yeah. I think. Yeah, we believe but, in freedom over here. I believe in freedom, but once yeah. you start taking away opportunities and they start to recognize you as a woman, you're taking, yeah. from, you're taking away from women. Yeah, biological women. You, that's supposed to be a protected group. Yeah. Yeah. You're actually a man taking away things from a woman that was made for ex exclusive for women. Am I right or wrong? What? I said he's taking away things that was exclusively meant for women. No shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm right over here. Right, Kevin. <laughs> now, if you uh, start rebranding yourself as Lady Boy... You know, you didn't change your name. You're Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah, call yourself a lady boy. You need to brand yourself appropriately. Yeah. You're yeah. not a woman. Yeah, stop calling you yourself. You a lady boy. Yeah, she male. She male. Yeah, she male. <laughs> Chick with a dick. I mean, if you brand I yourself I think that would resonate with America and yeah. the globe, man. But you, you're giving off. You're telling people you're a woman, and you know that clip that. That clitoris between your legs is way too long, man, to be a clitoris. Yeah, your man. clitoris is just supposed to be a head. You got a shaft for chores. That don't work. And with that, with that clitoris, you got nuts. <laughs> you don't supposed to get nuts with your clitoris. <laughs> Being a woman is not up here. Yeah. It's actually what's between your legs. Yeah, and what's between your legs makes you a guy. It's not a clitoris. You don't have a vagina. You got a butthole. You got a mushroom tip. You got nuts. <laughs> but you don't have a vagina. You got male body parts walking around here talking about you a woman. Yeah. You a lady boy. You know that. You a lady on the outside, boy on the inside. Lady boy. No, he's a lady boy. He's a boy on the outside too. No, he looks like a woman. If I 
if I didn't know who he was and I saw him at first glance, yeah, at first glance until he opened his mouth, so wow, that's a, that's a white girl over there. <laughs> but then he get to talking his manners, yeah, oh yeah, you tricked me. False advertising, you damn guy. You a lady boy. You a lady boy. I, you know what? I'm hearing this argument from the left mm. when they're trying to define what a woman is. Okay, if a woman can't get pregnant, mm -hmm. is she still a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's making that argument. Hey, if a woman's got a cock, is she still a woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, if a woman loses a breast because of uh, breast, a disease, I mean, it's just is, is she still a woman? Of course, she just she had a. She had him removed because she had a disease. Yeah, it's like the the arguments from the left. Y'all people are so so manic, bipolar. You yeah. people are batshit crazy. It is poor. Hey man, would you calm down, man? Man, it is pure lunacy coming out of y'all. Why would you even make an argument if a woman gets her breast removed because of cancer? Yeah. Is she still a woman? Or yeah. what if she has to have a hysterectomy? Is she still a woman? Yeah. I mean, hey, 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 hey. Hey, but if a man puts on a dress, grows his hair long, puts on makeup, that makes him into a woman? Even though he's got a cock. Y'all don't see the... That uh, makes you a lady boy. You don't see the um, contradiction <laughs> all that? <laughs> if you don't see that contradiction, you have to you be know why? Sane, Keith, you have to be sane to see contradictions. <laughs> you got to be sound mind and body. You cannot be a rational person in this country if you think a man can be a woman. That got men in MMA, took a woman, won the match like she was Mike Tyson. Remember Mike Tyson back in the day? He win the fights in eight seconds. Dude gets a ring, he's a woman, takes on the bash, bash that woman's head in, match over in three seconds. And she after the match, yes, yes, I'm a real woman. I showed that bitch. <laughs> Damn good show. Damn good show. Damn good show. I hope, Bud Light, I hope y'all go out of business. I'm telling you, I hope nobody buys that training piss. <laughs> And we get giving away a, a Chevy truck, hot country. It's in high definition. It's got the uh, Duramax transmission. got that good white boy V8 engine in there. Give away 10000 cash to enter. Just go to our website and buy anything you want, and you automatically enter the win. Now you get that truck, man, you pick up all kinds of white women. Even oh. if you're black, you're going to pick you up a white woman. That's how much privilege you have if you get this truck. The end of the contest, all you got to do is buy some on my website. Yeah, I know you niggas. Y'all suck for them white women, even if they big. <laughs> yeah, niggas love some big white women. <laughs>